Hello everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be taking you through a developer journey that features the IBM Watson Visual Recognition Service. This journey is available on GitHub at github.com slash IBM slash Watson Calorie Counter. Uh, with this journey, we build a fun little mobile app that you can run on your Android device. Uh, with this app, you take pictures of food items with your camera, uh, which the app will then identify and provide calorie information for. Uh, the food is identified by passing the image to the Watson Visual Recognition Service, and the calorie information is gathered from a third-party provider, uh, NutritionX.com. If you look through the README, um, you can get all the details on how to build the, uh, the app, or in this case, uh, two Node.js apps, uh, the server app, which talks to the Watson Visual Recognition Service, and the mobile client app, uh, which displays calorie information uh, to the user. To start, you can build and deploy the server app by simply pressing the Deploy to Bluemix button here. This will create the Watson Visual Recognition Service as well as the server app that uh, interacts with it. Um, I've already done this, as you can see in my Bluemix dashboard. Uh, the app has the prefix Watson Calorie Counter. Uh, with the timestamp appended to it. And the visual recognition service has the name WCC Visual Recognition. Uh, once your server app and visual recognition service are up and running, as indicated here, we can continue with the install. So let's go back to the README. The next step we have is to clone the repo to your local system by simply running this get clone command here. Next, we need to uh, create a trial account to access the calorie information from uh, nutritionx.com. Uh, for this, just go to their homepage here and select the free option, this button here to get your um, ID and key values. So next we need to update our config.json file with the uh, proper key values. Um, this file is located in the, the mobile www direct subdirectory. Um, here you substitute in the, the nutrition X uh, ID and key values we just attained. And also the URL route um, to the calorie counter server app running in your uh, Bluemix account. Uh, to get this value, just simply go back to your dashboard, Bluemix dashboard, and click on the route. And this will display um, the full URL that you can use um, in that in config file. So just a quick note, make sure you don't have any trailing slashes at the end of this when you cut and paste this into your, into your config file. Back to the README. The next step is uh, building the Android mobile application. Um, this requires several build tools, including uh, Java Development Kit, Node and NPM, Android Studio, the Apache Cordova mobile uh, app framework, and the Gradle uh, build tool. Uh, so you can accomplish this in a couple of ways. Uh, both are described in this README. Uh, we have steps for doing this all manually if you really want to get into all the details. Or uh, the alternative is to skip through most of this by just using Docker. Um, and we provide a Docker image file in the mobile subdirectory to do this. There it is. Um, so once you have the environment all set up, uh, you just need to use the Cordova Android framework to build and run the mobile app, uh, which will download the app to your mobile device. So once you have the app on your device, uh, using it is pretty straightforward. Um, I've taken some screenshots to describe this uh, process, the user experience. Um, so here you can see that the Calorie Counter app uh, has been downloaded to my phone. If I click on that, I'll get the home page of the app. Here you'll see a camera icon. You select that, and that will transfer you to your device's um, camera. Uh, you take a picture of a food item and then press OK and then you check out the results. Um, here you can see I took a picture of some almonds. Uh, note the, 
the app says or the uh, Watson Visual Recognition Service claims that uh, a 67% confidence level that this is almonds, which it is. Um, and if you scroll down, you'll get some um, nutritional information from nutri nutritionx.com. Um, here we see calories, serving size, uh, total fat, fat content. Um, so as mentioned earlier in the, uh, the journey, this um, we only support Android at this time, but um, it wouldn't take too much effort to port this to iOS. So with that, I think I'll wrap up the demo. Uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to download this and run this on your own. Um, again, thanks for your time.